All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Kaiser Redux mod as Napublicta Neheran Era. Welcome back. Um, sorry for not getting a video out yesterday. I, I was working. Um, I was working a long shift. And the day before that, I was at university, so I came home late. Up early. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up early, home late. Um, I haven't yet responded to all of the comments on the previous video. Don't worry, I will get to them. I've, I've replied to some of them there. Um, I had already replied to a few of them, but... Awesome, just I want to say thank you so much for the engagement. Ah, oh, so many comments. Austin Mills, Arthur Savvy, uh, Trad Gamer, Chef Mocha, just and, and just Christian Kepley, Blake Bridges, so many more. Who else? I don't want to leave anyone out. Those are the names that are popping into my head immediately. But who else do we have? Comments have a look. Juan Mateo, Matthew Silva, Andrews McKaylee, THPS. And of course, Bodhi Lazarov and Georgi Paskalev. That's us from the most recent video. But thank you for the um, the engagement on the on the previous uh, series as well. Um, the, the Agoda series, the Soul Jackson series. I've been loving it. It's a nice change from, uh, <laughs> from you know, four comments on the, uh, on the, I think it was the last video. Of the of the 215 series, it was fucking depressing, but I enjoyed that series, so I won't. I can't say too much, but um, the the, the monkey brain neurons are firing on all cylinders. It's fantastic, but it's ah, uh, it's yeah. Like, like um, Chad Gamer was talking about in the la in the comment section of the last episode, there was some serious Mandela effect going on with this series. Like our flag is gone, just things are things aren't what they should be. I, I'm pretty sure it's to do with the. With the by blood alone update because i don't have that dlc but austin mills tells me that there's a balbo path so i will very soon have that dlc um but obviously the game updated anyway um just like the by blood alone had an update as well as a dlc so you know it's most likely that and we have men in training as well don't we yeah it's just so weird yeah, it's kind of odd that britain didn't come for us now now i'm kind of just sitting here just like okay i'm gonna roll over you in oil <laughs> probably not roll over we still have a seat across now on morgan newer that means the new market Ulster gets two building slots and two civilian factories. Or two, we get two 75% research bonuses for industry. Replace the architects of the Resurrection Rise with Anmarganu. This, this, these should all be separate national focuses. It makes no sense to, to condense them all into it. Because at least with separate national focuses, you can see what each one gives you. Uh, you know. Captain Codriano forces Carol abdication. Fantastic. Replaced by uh, Crown, uh, Crown Prince Michael. Oh, here he is. Good to see now, effective change, stability plus 7%, uh, construction speed, efficiency cap, as well as factory output plus 10% each, meaning the new markets, yes, no, <laughs> I shouldn't have bothered. On Marganua is the economic plan envisioned by Kenner and Garod or Pinagon that hinges around right populism and heavily regulated anti-capitalist markets in order to alleviate the plight of the Irish common man while emphasising class cooperation as opposed to class conflict. Again, like, like I was talking, as well as, uh, don't forget Rodri Mullen as well um, for the people who are commenting uh, but that, that, that wasn't the um, most recent episode but by the way I was talking about um, I was outlining my political beliefs in um, I think it was the it was the new series trailer for this series and um, oh, now I'm after completely losing my train of thought what was I talking about yes oh yes I was saying um, class collaboration if possible class conflict if necessary something tells me that the oligarchs don't really want to give up their wealth and if they choose to do so fantastic if they don't there's plenty of bayonets. Now, what do we have? This new deal for the Irish people in, in, inspired by the works of American progressives such as LaGuardia, Teddy Roosevelt and the late FDR. Uh, with the economic works of Mussolini and others all adapted to fit our right-wing attitude shall provide a safe, fair and prosperous economy for all Irishmen to enjoy and revel in all without fears of drifting to the perfidious left. Yes, <laughs> these do not sound like good economics whatsoever. <laughs> when, you, when you're throwing out the names of FDR and Mussolini, the economics don't sound good at all. Run free trade are really fantastic. Partial mob, that's the job. 175 plus power to slightly turn this down. In Celtic Symphony, like what they're saying is ooh ah up the ra, but it sounds like every second time they say it, it sounds like they're saying ooh ah up their ass, with which they may very well be. I've never looked up the lyrics. Chief of Staff, oh yeah, I, I was trying to figure that out. Uh, that's Yeah, yeah. I'll take away, we have to take someone. Oof, that, that is pretty good. Division Oregon, plus 10%. Uh, 
quite inclined to take that actually. But we have you as a yeah, we do have you as a general. Ooh, where are you? Where are you? Let me get this correct. This is you. You kinda look you kinda look like a Nicholas Moran the chieftain. Or rather, Nicholas Moran kinda looks like him. A bit. A bit. Like not not a lot, just a bit. Kind of though. Now Oh, this, maybe this would be a better shout. What are we building? Civilian factories. As far as I'm aware, we're kind of running out of slots. Okay, we'll build another one there. And we'll build two more here. Uh, no, what we should do is we should start getting some air experience, because we're going to need it. Uh, bad weather penalty minus 20%. That's pretty goddamn good. Yeah. Air experience, um, air focus, all weather, air experience gain, plus 0 0.09 daily, bad weather penalty, minus 20%, that'll get us some, some air experience, that's what we need. Navy command, focus. Anti-submarine, oh, I wish we had just regular submarine. Oh, that sucks. So wait, submarine detection, plus 15, plus, yeah, plus 15%, I assume that's us detecting enemy submarines, not, not, the, not the detection of our own submarines. In that case, yes, yeah, this, this makes sense to go for. Navy focus decisive battle. <laughs> I doubt it. Naval experience gain plus 0 0.09 daily. Capital ship attack and armor plus 10%. Screen attack and defense plus 10% each. Fantastic. Military high command focus. Uh, oh damn! Will we go for the navy or the air force? I mean, we only have we only we only really have one seat. Well, we got across two seas really, but the French will be busy. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for the air force. Air high command focus, air combat, ace generation chance plus 10. Oh, but then again, I don't have to build. I don't. Yeah, we'll go for the Navy. Navy high command focus, uh, logistics, uh, naval experience gain plus 0 0.06 daily, naval max range factor plus 5%. Nice. Yeah, because I'll have to build ships. Also, I think that, yeah, that you can build uh, aircraft now in uh, Bible. Or you can build aircraft. You can customize and design aircraft in Bible in uh, Bible alone. I'm only buying the DLC to play Balbo. <laughs> I don't give a damn about anything else. But the, the whole division changes are nice, I guess. Even though I, I, I don't know what they are. Because I... I just really don't care. I've been too busy to look into it. Yeah, 25% defense bonus is just insane. We're very much going to need it, though. Um, even against Canada. Because... The thing with Canada, right, is that, well, well, the thing with France is that it, France is cool in a way. Is that when you conquer them, you can go to the uh, the exiled French North Africa and be like, hey, you know, if you join our alliance, you know, we'll give you mainland France or something like that. It, it, it definitely used to be a thing as Russia. I don't think I don't think it is a thing anymore. But there's something kind of similar, I think, still in place. But if you conquer Britain, it's just like, you know, set up puppet government, set up a single puppet government, you know. Direct military occupation. You can't go to the Canadians and be like, "Hey, you know, we'll give you this back in exchange for whatever." Yeah. But then you're kind of asking for the total dissolution of the Entente, really. Fucking Sorto. Guangzhou federal government has declared war on the Hunan clique. Then, like, yeah, because like Canada is like the backbone of the Entente. Like the the French aren't going to last in North Africa unless they can uh, get back to the mainland. Also. Look at this! Like, like, is, is it any wonder why I stay away from Kaiser Redux? What the fuck is this? Like, how did this happen? They're not a puppet. But like, oh my god! Also, I, like, I selected the Solidarists to win in Russia, and where are they? They're not here. I also selected the Integralists to win in Brazil. Are the Integralists here? No, they're not. Like, what? Very nice. But Balbo's here. And Cordiano's here. And that's all that really matters. Gillen Croc's here. Yeah. And uh, Bielecki's here. Oh, no, he's not. Fucking hell. Vladislav V is here. Vladislav means glory to the ruler. Vladi means ruler. Slav Slava or Slav means glory. I think. Like Vladislav is a girl's name. So Vladi. Ruler, Slava, Glory. Ooh, Tom Bar Oh, no, it's all Skirmisher and stuff like that, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 
How are we doing? How long will this take to build? 102 days, alright. Any more factories to get? Um, let's see what we got. If we went for uh, detente with Britain and they accepted we'd get factories, we'd get two, I believe. We are not forming the ATO. God, no. Won't be responsible for that. Um, if we can get the... If the Americans can kind of unify soonish or really whenever we'll, um, we'll get factories that way. I'll try and fortify the isle. That's just bonuses. Air strong and free. I get nice bonuses, don't get me wrong. Uh, war authority train. That's probably a good shot. We're actually short of trains. Uh, extraction 2 is probably a good shot as well. <laughs> for our meager resources, 6 steel and 4 aluminium. God help us. Alright, so we'll be involving ourselves in conflicts. I can't believe Vlasov lost. That was the last hope for the Solidaris to win. How the fuck did he lose? Just depressing. Baldwin Deutscher Ardo, that's right. Arden, rather. Yeah. That's fine. Kisling is in Norway. I imagine so. Lapua, yeah. Also, of course, we are now uh, popular, patri uh, popular patriotism. Uh, we, that was actually in the last episode. I retroactively changed the, uh, the thumbnail. So we're no longer legionarists. Though I believe it was the same legionarism as... Yeah, it was the exact same legionarism as... Um, as Romania. The exact same description. Now, uh, militarize and fortify the isle. Is that necessary? Cap and growth factor up. That is nice, don't get me wrong. 5% popularity is also needed. Though, yeah, we do very much have a majority government at the moment. I know it says only 28% up here, but we have 28 here and 21 here. That brings us up to 49, which is already very close. But then we add 16% from, uh, I nearly said Fine Gael, no, Sinn Féin. That, because uh, we, were, we were creating a new corporatist Sinn Féin with the three max. So, yeah, we are very much there towards a uh, a majority government. Super majority government, even. I believe super majority is 66%, um, two thirds. Um. That is all fine, yeah. That's all fine. These are all 42 days. Blech. That's all fine. Naval industry focus. There's dockyards to be had. Dockyards are nice, don't get me wrong. This is another... And yeah, we can get... Reduction in submarine costs. Like, that's that's good. We can get a research slot right here. Yeah, I mean, we, we gotta go for that, really. The Great Green Leap Forward gained one research slot. Ireland has come a long way in a short time. The passage of the IEAA will no doubt mark a monumental victory in the, in the history of our nation. It's time to step out of the saddles of British imperialism. Ireland is a plantation no longer. She is a nation reborn. And that, that fits in nicely with uh, the Order of as well. But I will read the description of, of Legionarism. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Because uh, Christian Kepley wanted me to. Now... First popularized by the Iron Guard of Romania, the Black Hundreds in Russia, and the ANI in Italy, Legionarism is a form of highly religious and deeply militaristic revolutionary nationalism, rejecting entrenched political elites through sometime, though sometimes tied to monarchism. Legionaries or Legionarists advocate for a national revolution that would end the old order and usher in the creation of a new, spiritually reborn society. Members of Legionary parties are often trained to act as militant martyrs in order to become closer to their nation and God. Uh, though less extreme examples exist where nationalism and patriotism are expressed far more than martyrdom. In terms of economics, there is no one defined view, although capitalism and public controlism are usually outright rejected as a corrupting foreign force. Uh, with corporatism, right syndicalism, or other forms of controlled economics largely being dominant, uh, though the emphasis on religion and, ze and zealotry widely differs, most legionaries are devoutly Catholic or Christian, depending on the nation of origin, and all are deeply devoted to the, the jingoistic revitalization of their native country. The 37th Siamese Burmese War. Bloody hell, man. Come on! Six divisions have a. Deployed, another four yet to come. Orders. Now, we will just do this and we'll space them out. Ready, sir! Ready, sir! Ready, sir! We'll have two at least. We'll have it Orders. this so far. We'll get more men. <coughs> 205,000 men now in the field. And unlike in the New Order, we don't have to pay for them. <laughs> Very nice. Fucking itchy neck. Is 
Still don't have... Would we have enough men to garrison the whole island? Or garrison the every tile? One... Uh, yeah, one, two, I think. Georgia going after Azerbaijan. Let's count from up here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's count that. Yeah, yeah, definitely that. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. Very close, very close. <coughs> Send the RA volunteers. I'm not really inclined to do so. The Southern Republic. Led by Charles Young. I guess the Black Revolt won, I think. American Union said dominating the, the middle. CSA looking big. Uh, you're not in war with the CSA? No, you're not. Interesting. Very curious. I'd like to know how the how the PSA is running. Robert Taft. Yeah, you've got a load more divisions. Like, what's going on here? What's what's the industry looking like? Should be much better as well. Well, not much better, but decently better. Fucking hell! I didn't know it was that mountainous. Like I know the Rockies and stuff like that. I know there there is hills, but that mountainous? That is fucking bad. Oh my god. I would never live in the west of America. If I if I had to live in America, I'd live in the east. But with the west, it's just, it, it just seems like... like What's that one American city where, like, um, like, like if something happens, like, just the water just goes. Um, oh, God. It's not... It's, 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 well, it is partially LA, but it's, it's not... Is it Tucson? I think it's Tucson. Where we're, like, like if, if something happens to, like, a reservoir or something, like, the water is just gone. Apparently, like the national guard, the national guard ascertained that like they couldn't basically save the city if uh, something were to happen. I think it's Tucson. It's in Arizona. Tucson, Arizona. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, that's fine. How are we for aircraft? Fine. This. Fine. Oh yes, we'll get that. Industry buffs. Nice. Please tell me I'm, uh, rec well, I know I'm recording, but am I? Yeah, audio's coming through fine. It's good. That is good. Ah, the world is, the world is, well, I say the world. That that's, I have a very Eurocentric view of the world. Yeah, Asia is fucking burning. America's burning. Yep. Serbian-Albanian conflict, just like old times. Also, yeah, Bulgaria never got attacked because um, because they were busy with uh, because the Serbians and Romanians were busy with the Austro-Hungarians. That's that's an interesting development. You're not? No, no, okay. Let's see if I can see anything. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That's not fine. Oh damn, the CNTFI is weird. I'm going to cut off here. Also, uh, Krasny Liman. I'm not going to Slovians. Oh fucking hell, that's depressing. They're not. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere here anyway. It's fucking depressing. But um, I, at first, Krasny Liman was the, the Ukrainians took Yampil, which is kind of to the southeast. And they had pushed to the north of, of Krasny Liman. It was effectively an operational encirclement, which is where you haven't actually got the city surrounded on all sides, but you've effectively got the, the supply lines cut. So it's an operational encirclement. Then the Russians rushed, I want to say, the 58th um, Guards Tank Army. And apparently there was a, there was a counterattack north of Liman. But apparently now Liman has fallen. As, as, that's as far as that's the latest news. As far as I'm aware. I saw a Ukrainian flag in Lehman. That's all I know. Oh, nice. Another buff right here. <coughs> now, militarize and fortify the Isle. 
and militarize and fortify the isle, which grants production efficiency, cap, growth, and factory out plus 2% each. If Ireland is to be safe and secure, we will have to militarize the nation on a massive scale while fortifying every, uh, every uh, beachhead and port of ingress, for our foes will not wait long before they strike at us once again. And new factories and industrial centers shall rise to plume the smog of progress and modernity into the air while we expand our armed forces and fortify every square kilometer of our Emerald Isle. We shall not fall, no. And by uh, pluming modernity, we, are, we very much mean technological modernity, not societal modernity. Well, apart from the rights of it was important. Cape to Cairo Rail. Exclamation one. Beautiful. Uh, we'll take that anyway. Yeah. French National Worker State. Oh, Marcel Dayat is here. Spent his years in uh, after World War II in exile in Italy, and then he died there in the 50s, I believe. Another division. Beautiful. Ready to move. At this stage, yes, sir. Two, seven, seven, seven. Okay. You're ready. I'll be biased then and give it to the lads in Monster. Oh, I'm trying to remember how to... you're in Monster. Orders. Yes, you are. No, there we are. It's a decent rail network. That's better than what we have now in Ireland. There, there is no railway going from Waterford to... Uh... Oh, let me get this right before I fuck it up. Never mind. <laughs> I shut my mouth. <laughs> I, 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 uh... I believe... Is it from Dublin to Waterford there is no rail? Like, there's... Oh, there's one from Dublin to Cork. And then you have to go from Cork to Waterford instead of just going down that way. I believe that's it. Ah, oh. if you ever look at a map, it's like um, rail in Ireland, eighteen twenty or no, it's like uh, nineteen twenty one versus you know twenty twenty one. It's just depressing, lad. Now the thing with Ireland, right? Like I really like railways. I think it's a great way to travel. I think it's a great way of transportation. You know, resources, people, all that stuff. Uh, I, I much prefer to highways and motorways and all that other kind of stuff, especially for long distances. But Ireland isn't a large enough nation to justify high speed rail. Now higher speed rail. Um, which is actually slower than high-speed rail, is viable, is um, profitable, economically viable. But um, but not high-speed rail, no. Unfortunate. Now, Chief of Air Force, I assume you give your experience. No, you do not. Alrighty, then. I will take... Uh, that was a bit of a roll there. Who shall I take? What are we doing here? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. I take the artillery designer. Ship designer. Yeah. No submarine guy. Yeah, actually, extensive conscription. Because unlike somebody else, I'm actually going to mobilize before I go to war. Also, uh, Perrin just released a fantastic new video on the Russian mobilization. I'm only about 20 minutes into 20, 20, 25 minutes into it. But Perrin, as usual, makes fantastic content. So I would um, advise anyone and, and anyone, and everyone and everyone, and everyone and anyone. There we are interested in the Russian mobilization or just the conflict in Ukraine in general to watch not only the newly released video but also just basically all of the videos because they're all fantastic. Ready. All metal, no manpower. All manpower, no metal. Ready to move. All of them. You're training up. Or are you not training up because of these supply issues? No, you're doing fine. Good. Yeah, now we need more trains. Uh, what will I, I build them now? What will I wait? Or, yeah, I'll wait till more austerity. Ready, sir! Is that all of them? That is all of them. The Ottomans under siege in the Middle East. Conflict in the desert. Yeah, me 
he thinks we need to... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? First thing I'm going to do is cancel that. It's Syrian Revolt. It's all fine. That's that. That's grand. Disability is doing all right. The old search suit. Yeah, we're not going to be. Ah. Oh, Duffy, I want you to feckin' kick the bucket so I can get someone else. Oh, Sean Lamas, one of my favorites. It's a shame he didn't get in power sooner and live longer. Joseph Brennan, there's another Nat Pop t shirt, and he's way better. Oh, please tell me I can get you somehow. There's no reason for there to be another Nat Pop t shirt otherwise. Unless it's for, like, a puppet t shirt or something like that. Ugh. It's unfortunate. Now, Era Strong and Free. Replace, militarize, and fortify the Isle with Era Strong and Free. Effective change, production efficiency cap and growth plus 3% each. Division attack and defense plus 5% each. Factory output plus 3%. Justify conflict gold time minus 25%. Change in popularity of national populism 5%. Under Canara, Garoda, Quinagon, and the Alterian Hesherga, we've initiated a Celtic Renaissance and an Irish resurgence for Era Stand Strong and Free in defiance of our foes and the fate of subjugation that uh, see, that so many deemed inescapable. Never again to really bend the knee to foreign conquerors for the revived pan Celtic identity in our prosperous and mixed economy now carries us towards prosperity and progress under the Canara and under God. Ireland shall never falter for our corporatist paradise and the spirit of the Celtic people will endure forevermore. I love how it doesn't matter like whatever like like it doesn't matter what economic system you have in like Hearts of Iron 4 game except like the New Order things will just go well no matter what you know totalism well totalism is you know you know Marxist Leninist economics things are great going great capitalist economics things are going great oligarchic capitalist economics things are going great right syndicalism corporatism you know whatever it doesn't matter things are going fantastic They'll grant you the exact same bonuses as well. It's <laughs> stupid. Argentinian national state has joined the Reich's Pact. Very interesting. Didn't even know that was a thing. Actually, yeah, I do, baby. Rise of the French Social Republic. Francois de la Roque is posting a new constitution. Non -constitution. Interesting. Delarup is the officer. He's not the guy with the beret. That's right. That's right. Exactly. He, he's in the base game, I believe. And you already have Paraguay and the Republic of Chile with with that guy with the the, the stern face and the good jawline. No, never mind. Different guy. I hate that we're using World War One artillery. Though the, um, the the QF, which stands for quick uh, quick firing, 18 pounder is an 84 millimeter gun. I thought it would be 75, which is fantastic. It is 1939. Let us begin work on that. Is fine. That is, art artillery. 1939 artillery. Actually, no, 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 no. no. Uh, just armored. Uh, actually, no, just none, none of this stuff. Um, need to get some some companies. Yeah, we'll get some companies first. 1.15 a day, that was not bad. Uh, oh God, I hope I haven't balls that up by all starting the resources. I think I might have. Uh, just do something over here, I suppose. Of course, we don't actually have any uh, support equipment yet in our divisions, but all we have is our support, uh, support artillery. Our industry is not yet large enough. You're going to get crushed. You just said that wasn't expect. That wasn't clever. That was not clever whatsoever. Me thinks you're going to get annihilated. Yeah. Just what? Two to five divisions, you insane. 
I thought it was weird. It was a weird road. Just odd. He looked at me right fearlessly and said, Will you stand in the van like a true Irish man and go? Attention! <coughs> you training? I hope the hope the Germans don't uh, mess up their their navy. Little WB8, eh? I could fucking take or leave WB8 to be honest. WB8, if if WB8 had an ideology, it would be Maud Gon simpism. Okay, the guy and if you've ever seen a picture of Maud Gon, like she's not that good looking, and like it's not even a case of like you know beauty standards have changed and like have risen or whatever. No, Maud Gon is not good looking. Well. I'll be honest, it's been a while. As far as I'm aware, Maldon is not, is, is not that good looking. I'm not saying she's ugly, but like she's not gorgeous either. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Ireland would have had better. Like, definitely. Oh my god. The famous poet and one of the founders of Dublin's Abbey Theatre, William Butler Yeats, has died today. He was, dri he was driving force behind the, uh, behind the Irish Literary Revival. And in 1923, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. He also served as a politician for two terms after the Irish conflict of independence, but retired in 1928 due to poor health. Ireland Warren's a great poet. I appreciate his contributions towards the literary revival, but as a poet, you know. Oh, bald, you're not training at all, are you? Supply problems. Sugar. Is that the, is that the same for all of you? That's what I'll do, so. Ready to move. Orders. The same story over here. I don't think so. No. It's grand. Fall in. Should be fine now. There we are. There's no railway across the. Across the country itself, apart from that one. No, there's none from Dublin to Galway. We need to get one of those. In fact, I have actually just get one right now. That's the most unnecessary railroad I've ever seen in my life, but go on, so. But it'll, only, it'll only take 10 days, so why not? Excavation 2, fantastic. Spirit Industry 3, fantastic. Again, 1939 tech. Two of them here. Can't argue with ten days, really. The world is quiet. The, the, the English, not or the British, rather, not invading us. Is just uh... did I or did I not annex you? Oh man! I, okay, no, there's no Mandela effect this time. I most definitely did. Yeah, see, you're still marked and all. And you're just you're releasing them, but they're somehow not a puppet of you. What in the name of God? Yeah, that's about what I expected. Ooh, Jordan, the Jordans got the got Azerbaijan though. They, they were able to core that fairly fast, from what I remember. Oh, things over here. Why oh, Rask can't hit? You got him well, that's good. Is it still Coltac over here? That's boring, man. That's so boring. That's such a terrible beard. For a man with such a good jawline as well. Nice. Well, that's Garrod's tree done. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, just... Some of this appeals to me, but I just... I can't look past Ono Duffy being a colossal national traitor. Wanted a fucking German invasion of Ireland. Like, what? Oh, my good lord. Now, about working down this tree, perhaps. We, need, yeah, we, we could do with some stability. You know, we really could. 
Some steel. Okay. Efficiency growth. We get 5% minus 5% consumer goods there. The population supply consumption is nice, but. Two pieces of infrastructure right there, that's good. As far as I'm aware, we didn't max out these. We didn't max out Ulster, good. We didn't max out, you know, just Lancer, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Uniting the Nation would be, uh, it'll carry on nicely from Garrow Street. Now, Uniting the Nation, political power plus 25, gain based ability plus 10%, that's huge. Change the popul uh, popularity of national populism, 5%, again, that's big. Some of the chief divisions of our nation could be addressed through a program of cultural reform, spreading the Irish language will help unite our countrymen while addressing the long-standing hold of the Catholic Church over Irish values and morality would be a progressive move. Our youth could see benefit in a scouts scheme and perhaps our immigrant population uh, population could be better integrated with some effort. Again, why don't we have a choice here? It's very odd. Tell me, what is our current... No, that's the other one. Is it down here somewhere? Yes, industrial research speed. Okay. Uh, cap and fa cap, uh, cap and output is pretty good, to be fair. But again, we wouldn't be consulting these people whatsoever. Yeah, that one makes the most sense, I think. I'll take that. No, oh, that is all oh, fine. Has national spirit, Catholic supremacy, secular supremacy, Gaelic the national language. That's great. You'll of course be going for Gaelic the national language at the very least. And I, I don't see Garrod or Quinnagon not going for the Catholic supremacy as well. As ours into just the national spirit uh, speaking. Ready to move! You're turning up? That's good. We don't have any more generals, do we? No. Still growing in November. We've crossed 310,000 total men. Ireland now has an army <laughs> larger than what the Russians have in Ukraine. Oh my god. Well, that's all about to change, yeah. Like, 300,000, my ass. The, the Russians are mobilizing a lot more than that. A lot. I think it's uh, section 7 of the official decree. Um is classified and when pushed answer Peskov said that it that it pertains to the number of people being mobilized so if you say you're mobilizing 300,000 but you're concealing the, the section that says how many people are being mobilized then uh, how many are actually mobilizing now dealing with the church political power plus 25 the status of the church has long been in question since the declaration of Irish independence ostensibly the Republic of Ireland is a secular nation but, a, but some have questioned whether that is true it's time to officially resolve the question of the church once and for all in legislation and with a direct the direct future of the nation I wouldn't, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if when we did this focus we just immediately got the Catholic supremacy thing um, much the same way that as soon as we did the status of Ulster we immediately got the continue the crackdown Are we able to keep up with that? Yes, we are. Oh, we actually need more. More goddamn. 53 days? Yeah, we need more infantry equipment. I'll take another factory here. How is that factory coming along? How long? 26 days, alright, that's not too bad. Oh, what was that? That was a bottle of water. That's good. I don't know what the. Uh, Social liberals are doing. Silly Mac Maklakov. Yeah. Maklakov. No, Maklakov works better. Fucking itchy leg. Yeah, Ru the Russian democratic content is so nice, man. Fucking glorious, lad. Glorious. I actually have a, uh, a thumbnail made for a VNS playthrough as well. A VNS. Um, a VNS or. Or SMA, is it is that is that the is that the black hundred hundred is it R N S M A? Might be. Yeah, you get a you get a uh, sub ideology switch as well. Yeah, again the solidarity tree is nice as well, but not as nice as the other ones. But of course, they have the second term as well, is nice. And that guy from uh, Leader Realm, if you are like, pops up if you go this uh, this direction as well. I believe.
Muscat has capitulated. Who is it's it's Jack Mac or something? The, the general guy. Yeah, in um, in the Ottoman Empire. That's right. Oh, what the fuck? What's going on here, man? All right, tell you this is what this is what it'll do. Uh, state managing tool. Mark. Uh, da -da -da -da, mark all states in this country. And cores. There we are. Can do this all day. Let that be the last time, please. Are you gone? Like the snows of last winter. That's a lot of course. Okay, the CNTF have been pushed back quite a bit. What's oh the Italian Imperium is here already. Fantastic. Just like the flag again. I like the I like the uh, the black eagle with the wings swept wide, touching the fasces. Italy is reborn indeed. What's been going on here in the foreign policy? You've or you can't do this. Why not? Oh, we have to complete focus reclaim battalion or dent. Okay, okay. And rush. Oh no. One of the following must be true. Italian Imperium has become a one of those. Absolutely is true. What the hell? That's odd. I see, this is kind of odd, because I think I, I, I told them to align up the roost, and now we're going to have a social liberal Russian... Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's awkward. That's awkward. Hey, why have you not yet sorted out Black Monday? Oh my god. That's awkward. Austrian Empire looking pretty goddamn small. You actually like this as well, that's odd. Irish... Oh yeah, you get, you're getting, you get the minus... Consumer goods because of us, don't you? Yeah, minus two and a, minus two and a half percent consumer goods factories. Why? Why would a country ever decline that? Actually, I think um, I think if they're at war, they they have to automatically decline it. It makes no sense. Like at war, you you've you've never needed more money. But <sighs> have you beaten them yet? You have. You have. Let's pop it. Bulgaria is like if we stand very still, they won't be able to see us. It's like Romania must have formed us. Now we will get seven percent in just into so, yeah, not even four hundred and forty five thousand, so I won't mobilize anymore because we will need we will need to We actually got a choice, wow, we will need to um, keep men for absorbing casualties. The fate of the church. Ireland has been a devoutly Catholic nation for over a thousand years, and along with the, uh, that Catholicism has come conservative ideals and morality. The Irish Republic was founded, however, on ideas of a secular state, where religion would no longer play a role in politics. The promises of a secular republic have never truly been made good by the government, and the issue of the church and its status in the nation has been a, uh, a divisive factor. For some time, the government has now saw fit to address this issue once and for all and establish the, the role of the church in legislation. I mean, like, would Garrow would pick anything else being realistic, like, you know... I'm surprised that this gives you more political power. That's odd, considering how big the church is. The church and the state are inseparable. Two halves of a whole, nor lag a dia who. Mm. And Catholic supremacy, which grants our crucial population 1%. Political power plus 25, change in popularity of paternal autocracy 5%. I dislike the uh, the church in Ireland. I should, I should note that. I dislike most forms of organized Christianity, to be honest. I'm fully focused. Fully focused, wow. Fully focused, eh? Solely focused on my personal relationship with God. Um, the idea that the church is inherently human, it's fallible. It's, and it has created, yeah, created, committed great crimes against the people of Ireland, so it's only kind of natural that I wouldn't like it. Fucking itchy ass thy. Not thy calf. Oh, yeah, that 1% will, will, will go nicely, though. Now we'll have 8%. Nice. It's another what? It's another 40, yeah, 45,000 men mobilized, something like that. Oh, the French have gone after the Germans. Here we go. Oh, now I really am trying to steal my
Yeah, different forms. Man's machine tool is nice. Yes, I need to spend this pistol power on. I only get one choice, really? That sucks. Yeah, I'll go for artillery. James Mackey and Sons artillery resource sweep is 10%. Toad artillery, uh, Toad rocket artillery, Toad anti tank, and Toad anti air. Defense uh, and soft attack, defense plus 10%, soft attack plus 5%. Why is that only for Toad? What, why not motorized? That makes no sense. That's stupid. Now, promote the Irish language, plus the power plus 25, add Gaelic, the national language. Actually, let's quickly go back to. Austria declares conflict, does it? Okay. Oh, and it has applied. Fantastic. Okay. Bold words. Bold moves. We are cut off in the east, though. No doubt. Ooh, look at all that. Yeah, what way will you be able to get? You can cross. Oh, you can cross. You can cross through here and go through the Baltic. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. I think we actually take another one as well. Uh, synthetics. No, I'm not too interested in that. Anniversary of the 1916 Rising. Fantastic. Those are problems. 25. Murphy, yeah, fuel and chemicals, industrial research, 3 plus 10 percent, military and civilian factory construction, 3 plus 10 percent each. Bank of Ireland robbery. Today in Belfast, the Bank of Ireland was robbed by a masked gunman believed to be Unionist dissidents. The Gardaí are searching for them as we speak, but they are most likely taking refuge and being shielded within the Unionist community. Let no man arrest until these men are found. Please, the power minus 25. Radical movements mobilizing in response to what they see as oppressive policies towards the people of Ulster. Unionist organizations are growing more radical and attracting the most disenfranchised and angry northerners to their cause. They are presently meeting in secret uh, in secret in pubs and or orange order halls around the country, safe from the prying eyes of the Gardaí bloody radicals. Man, okay. This stuff about to. Uh, <laughs> is it about to kick off? That uh, certainly is the implication I'm getting. There we are. Finally trained. Up. Good. Listen up! Ideally, we'd get the whole conflict before um, before getting into any sort of war, so then I don't have to keep troops at home. It's, you know, we crush it. I believe James Craig leads us. Uh, we crush it, and then that'll be that. Now, um, add Gaelic, the national language, grants uh, political power gain plus 10%, stability plus 5%. The Irish Gaelic language is widely spoken in Ireland. Yeah, more, yeah definitely more so in this timeline. Timeline, but it is also decayed. Uh, but it is slowly decay decayed over time during the British rule, and in some areas it is now no longer spoken at all. We could better unite our people and preserve our cultural heritage by encouraging the use of Gaelga throughout the nation. Fantastic. Oh, three divisions. Yes, sir. Over here to train. Trains. Yeah. Trains. It's nice. nice Celtic knot right there. Now, that is handy, I suppose. Oh, yes, and this will very much help as well. It's a fleur de lis. Interesting. Yeah, and then I can see a Celtic knot inside of it. Okay. I don't know why we, we why we would be using a French symbol, but... Add organised youth, which grants recruitable population factor 1%, training time minus 2.5%. Young Irish boys and girls often find themselves with very little to do in our society, and have often been left to their own devices as their parents work long toils in our factories and businesses. We can follow the examples of the Americans with their Boy Scouts and create an organisation of our own, instilling our youth with an understanding for Irish culture and honourable values. Sounds good to me. I was in the Scouts when I was young. But it was terrible. It, 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 it was nothing like what a, what scouts would be. We were making fucking, you know, um, binoculars out of toilet rolls and stupid shit like that. Just fucking 
And th there wasn't even any glass in the toilet roll, so it was just a fucking pair of shitty binoculars. It weren't even binoculars, it was just two, two empty, two empty toilet rolls taped together. It was fucking stupid. But to be fair, I didn't really stick with it, so maybe it would, probably would have gotten better as, it, as I'd uh, gotten all of it out. I wasn't gonna fucking stick it out like. Now the foot, yes, that's right. The foot solider of Christ the King. The solider. Um, yes, the foot soldier of Christ the King. With Ireland much of the dismay of many and Ulster embracing Catholicism as an integral aspect of our nationhood, there has been what can only be called an explosion of Catholic life within the nation. People have begun to attend the holy sacrifice of the Mass daily. Uh, feast days that were once a mainly secular affairs have once again taken on a religious atmosphere, among many other things. Along with this, Catholicism's, in Catholicism's influence on the political realm has also greatly expanded as French Catholic groups, once relegated to obscurity, have seen a massive uptick in popularity. One such grouping is Maria Duce, or with Mary as our leader, led by Father Dennis Fahey. Bloody hell, that's event. that is a great event, actually. Let's let this pass first. It is... it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, there we are. Give me the conflict austerity trends. 50... As, oh yeah, it's way better. Uh, blah, 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 where was I? Led by Father Dennis Fahey. While the group itself is small, even an uptick in popularity, the leader is far from it. Father Fahey has, has become something of a local legend when it comes to his writings on Christ the King, specifically the social kingship of Christ. While a complex topic, in essence, the social, king, the social kingship of Christ calls for the kingship of Christ to be recognized on the temporal level, demanding that all governments conform themselves to Christ's teachings, the teaching calls for the Catholic Church and her teachings to be the supreme law of the land. Regardless if that land is Catholic or not, on a personal level, Father Fahey is known to be an avid anti-Semite. Off declaring we must combat small hat efforts to permeate the world with naturalism. In that sense, as there is only one divine plan for order in the world, every sane thinker must be an anti-Semite. Despite this, there have been some calls from within the government to embrace Fahey's teachings, which indeed are preeminent in terms of Christ's kingship. With us being a Catholic nation by decree, surely we must take this to its logical conclusion. Others off of a more left... Oh, here we are. Oh, there's so many, man. There is so many. Um... Oft of a more leftist or secular bent believed that Fahey, for both his radical interpretation of Catholicism and anti-Semitism, should be censored and Maria Duce itself banned. Others simply want us to leave this recluse of a priest alone and simply ignore the more radical trends of Catholicism. In any case, Father Dennis Fahey is possibly Christ the King's strongest soldier, and he shall continue to be, regardless of our actions. That's the exact same um, image we had for the uh, deciding on the church thing. Now, Vivat Christus Rex embraced Fahey in his teachings, so we will lose our foreign minister idea, which would, would, would probably benefit, it to be, benefit us, to be completely honest. Um, because, yeah, political power, cons negative consumer goods, and stability, like, that's, that's pretty good. Fahey is a danger. Censor him and ban his organization. Or simply ignore Fahey. He is but one fish in an, in an entire ocean. No. Fahey is a danger. Censor him and ban his organization. Change the popularity of national populism 5%. Gain base ability plus 2%. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me quickly check this. Yeah, okay. Okay, Garoda Quinagon does like anti Semitic policies in this mod. Ooh. Well, but the, declaring the Catholic Church and its, te and its teachings the, the sole law of the land <laughs> goes completely. That's, that's not going to work. We'll have to adjust. We'll have to adjust them. Lest we risk turning into a theocracy. Oof. Yeah, Fahey is a danger center him and ban his organization. The name of our home island, Ireland, alternatively, Era, Eru, Lerna, Hiberia, and, oh, uh, Lern, yeah, Lern, Hiber Hibernia, and many other names throughout history, has been called Ireland in the English tongue since before the beginning of our subjugation under the Angloid Dogs, and has been known by many nicknames such as the Roisin Dove, uh, Kathleen Ni Hulahan, Mother Era, Sean Vian Bucht, the Emerald Isle, Old Sod, please, please don't tell me we, we were ever known as Old Sod, Old Sod is what you'd call it, a friend, or something. Please don't tell me that's a thing. And so many more. Now that we are free from their ga uh, gasp, grasp. And not that we have drifted further and further away from the English language as we revive our own ancestral Gaelic tongue. Many in Ireland have pushed for us to officially rename our Emerald Isle, uh, changing our identity both at home and abroad for all to see our renewed Ga uh, Celtic splendour. However, many modernists and patriots of this current free nation we reside in have grown attached to the names they've fought for and that their comrades have died for. And these veterans instead push for us to keep our nation's name unchanged. What should we decide? So I assume if we 
Click this. Um, we'll stick with uh, Publix and Heron, I assume. So we've got... Actually, no, we'll, we'll pop a quick save. Actually, no, we won't, because I'm not loading, because the game will crash, and I will go ape. No. No, no, no. So, Era, the classical Gaelic name of our isle. Eru, the ancient the ancient Gaelic name for our, for our isle named after a Celtic goddess. Aaron, another Celtic goddess and popularised by the rallying call Aaron Gabrak. Aaron, a modernised variation of the more traditional Aaron. Again, no father there, so I don't like it. Ivernia, a name used for our isle by the great Ptolemy. Ptolemy? Ptolemy, I think, yeah, Ptolemy. Let me see other possible names. Iron, a title penned in the Greek tale of the Argonauts. Ogigia. Given to our isle in Homer's Odyssey and the fated home of Atlantis, Fjord, uh, Fjord Idish, Fjord Idish, yeah. Um, Gaelic translation of Latin Insula Nemorosa, meaning Woody Island, Creek uh, Funid, Funid. Gaelic translation of the Latin name for our isle, Terra Finalia. Terra Finalia, that sounds like something else. Um, uh, Wiccanish. Wiccanish, yeah, I'm Wiccanish. Old name for the isle given by the Spanish-Irish children of... Is that Mealid? Uh, Scotia, named for the Scots-Irish raiders who terrorised Roman England. Let me see possible other names. Hibernia, the famous Roman word for our island, favoured by Irish poets. Inish, Aelga, uh, Gaelic for the Latin word for Ireland. Insula, nobilis, meaning noble island. Uh, Inish, Fall, old Celtic name meaning island of destiny, favoured by monarchists for its connections to the Tuatha de Danon. I mean... Is there really any other name than Era? It will be known as the Celtic State of Era. And we have our flag back. Oh my god, man. <laughs> this game is so schizo on the flag. We've got the flag back. And, and we're now Era. Now, though, I... How would this be? I assume that while... Um, our official name is Era, much like Ireland's official name is Ireland... Um, for, of course, Ireland is a republic, and often to separate to distinguish us from Northern Ireland, we are known as the Republic of Ireland. But our official name is Ireland. So I imagine in this world, our official na official name would be Era, though we would we, we may be known uh, abroad by uh, Publica na Era, or something because like we we've dropped the Era in parts, so now it's just Era. Okay, we have the flag back. That's good. No skits. Oh, fantastic. Irish scouts. Yes, that's all fine. That's all fine. Of course, of course. Because I, I was, it was going to be annoying if we didn't get our flag back. It's going to be awkward. A new division. Ready. Yes, indeed. Move out. Field hospital too. Fantastic. You can get working on the Johnson M nineteen forty one. It's such an odd change, man. We're going to go from a bolt action rifle um, chambered in seven point nine two by fifty seven to a self loading rifle chambered in. Uh, the American 30 alt 6 I have no idea what that is in millimeters. I used to know. Well, I say I used to know. I lo I've looked it up a few times, but I continually forget. Because it's just much easier to call it 30 alt 6 rather than remember the exact dimensions. And they're awkward dimensions as well, as far as I remember. Failure of the Halifax Conference. That's fantastic. And then we'll go from the Johnson M1941 to another self-loading rifle, which is French. Uh, or Belgian, rather. Um, oh, and... It, it, this is box fed as well. Uh, who knows what it's chambered in? It, the, the, maybe the French Lebel cartridge. Or, the, no, 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 not Lebel. Is it Lebel? I don't think, I'm not sure. The, the one that the Mass 36 fires. And the Mass 48 fires, I believe. This head up. I think it's the same cartridge. Oh, nice, we have another. Take another one on uh, trains, please. So if I pick the new flag for the nation now, will that will that change things? Oh, it will change things, or will it? Basically, the only one I'd actually pick from this to replace the the current flag we have, the Altirian Hesheriga symbol on a dark green background, is either a the tricolor because it's classic and it's fantastic and it has a lot of meaning, or the sunburst with a pike and the starry cloud. That's also quite a nice flag. Um, but, yeah, it, it is different, certainly. I will. We will stick with our current flag. We'll be known as Publix and the Heron. Please don't change the name again. Oh, for fuck. And now we have... Oh, my God. Did I Did I save? Okay, never mind. I can load, load, load to June of 39. Please don't crash game. If you crash, I shan't be happy. I won't click out of the game. I'll stay in the game. I won't. I won't do anything. I won't do a blessed thing. I will just sit here. And wait. 
Ooh, look at that. What's that supposed to be? It's Celtic, Gaelic in a way. Those are uh, three dots in the circle. Oddly Gaelic. I only wanted peace. May the Lord forgive the others, Engelbert Dolphus. Oh, fantastic. It went off without hitch. Fantastic. Fantastic. Again, take all our trains and let the rest go. really should be building a navy. <laughs> it's a bit late. What's this? Indeed land. Oh, the coup must have happened. I can never find the guy in in the Netherlands. It's a guy, he's got a great beard. Um, and I, I got him once and I, now I can never get him again. He might have been removed as a leader. You're taking your time, aren't you? Thirty-two thousand men, twenty-one thousand in training, and more mobilizing. <sighs> Where should we land? Scotland's got rough terrain. It's got rough terrain, and we have to own it as well. We can't just control it. Is that correct? Yeah, we have to own it. So we have to defeat them. In other words. Significant. Blue and that's 30. Yeah, we're doing well. Very well. More than a super majority at this stage. Now, improve integration for Irish Americans. Political power plus 50, man power plus 2200, gain base ability plus 5%. The refugee population that we have received from North America has been welcomed for the most part with open arms by their Irish brothers and sisters. There's always bound to be tensions and difficulties for such a large group of people trying to make their way in a new land. We can take measures to better integrate the Irish Americans into our society. Now, we've already gotten, event, gotten an event about the, the difficulties integrating Irish Americans. I don't know if we'd keep getting um, events about it, but they seem to be very spaced out of so. Um, because we've only gotten the one so far, and that was a while ago at this stage. I'm kind of inclined to call it more division, to be honest. How much have we got so far? 6.6. .6. Yeah, I'll call up another six divisions. Your naval assets looking like. The Union of Burma has capitulated. All right, thirty-six and thirty-six. Okay, yeah, <laughs> much larger than us, but that's to be expected. I still to say that we have nearly one third of the military industry of Britain is still an accomplishment, and thirty-six. And yeah, we've got twenty-three, so we're doing much better in that regard. Again, how many? Yeah, just very. So we're we're going to have to work on effectively your navy not being there. Which does often happen in the base game. Okay, nothing. Uh, let me check the uh, uh, the casualties. Okay, okay. The French have suffered very few casualties. The British have suffered hundreds, tens of thousands. Alrighty. And the Germans are, our Germans are just massive. What the Italians are up to? You didn't choose your focus yet, did you? Uh, your uh, your focus about the foreign policy? No, not yet. All right. What are you up to, Russia? Hmm. You've done nothing in the Far East. You've done nothing in the Caucasus in southern Russia. Yeah, more of that. Improved artillery, fantastic. From 84 millimeter to, I believe that this is a this is the German 150, 100, 155 millimeter gun. I believe. Don't think they had 125 millimeter. Yeah, nice.
39, 39. 39 research tech. Oh no, that's 40. Never mind. This is bad. But yes, the, the Canadians are involved. They're in. Okay, they're in. Can't wait too long, but can't go too early either. They've got to bleed a little while first. Just gives us more time to prepare. Increases our chances of success. Yeah, how many supply hubs do we have? Okay, one in Dublin, one in Cork, one in Limerick, one in Galway, one in Donegal even, one in Belfast. That's fair, that's very fair. Trying to get those big guns. What's the, uh, what's artillery number three then? That's the same. That's the exact same gun, or is it? That, yeah, that's not. That's not the 105 mm gun. I know exactly what the 105 mm. That is definitely the uh, the 155 mm gun. I think it actually might just be 150 or 150 mm. Fantastic. Nice. That's that done. And we've got Garrod's tree done. We've got the integration tree done. We've got the the Ulster tree done. We are doing pretty goddamn well. Again, we don't. Yeah, we don't get to do that. Can't do any of that. Um, I, I just like that flag. Yeah. This one here. A lot more to do here, but we've got the important stuff done effectively. The rest is all auxiliary, in my own opinion, at least. Move out. Yes, we really need to work on uh, Sabrina Tech. What else can we get here? For submarines specifically. Depth charge? No, that's the opposite of what we need. Don't need that either. Okay. Not much here I don't need. What realistically should we be getting? All we need here are submarines. All we need is torpedoes and, and boats. Slide 39. 19 body research tech? No, we'll, we'll get better radios for tanks, if we even get to building tanks. Oh, ho, 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 Here he is. He's got a weird face. Craig speaks out like, um, what's his face? Carson's face is fine. Ian Paisley's face is fine. But Craig's face just looks smushed. I don't know, it looks like... Let me, let me look up his face. Maybe it's just the portrait he gets in the mod. Craig's face, it's, it looks like a tomato, it's red. Oh, I love how I just typed in Craig instead of fucking James Craig. Oh my god. There we are. Let's try that again. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a flat face. It's particularly in that photo, it's weird. Other photos are, are better. But a weird face. Anyway. <coughs> After several years of inactivity and silence, the leader of the Ulster Unionist Party has spoken out regarding the status of Ulster and the Republic of Ireland. James Craig, uh, reported by some who have grown senile in his elder years, appeared lively and in a good mood and in a good mood as he viciously attacked the Irish government. In his first major address of such a kind since the ceasefire of 1925. Wow, 14 years, that's a while. He particularly chastised the current regime and the economic neglect paid towards Ulster. Ah, hardly, lad. Hardly. You've got more factories, you've got the most factories of any region in Ireland. And you're, you're the smallest region in Ireland. <laughs> what? Uh, though to be fair, Connacht should... Um, these territories here should should be in Ulster. Because a lot of people don't know that. Um, is that there's two... I, I want to say two or three. 
Irish geography isn't my strong suit, I won't lie. I believe it's two or three counties in... in Ireland, the Republic of Ireland, that are actually a part of Ulster, but aren't in British Northern Ireland, if you get me. I, let me just double check that. I believe, I want to say it's two. Uh, not counties of Northern Ireland, for fuck's sake, Con counties of Ulster. Uh, uh, yes, there, okay, three. Okay, grand job, there is three. Well, Ireland is, is a small country and the county system just makes everything much smaller. Uh, I, am a, I am a fan of the provincial system myself. Um, now, where was I? He particularly, yeah, and he demanded that every son and daughter of Ulster be prepared to fight for their prosperity and, if needs be, freedom of the region. Should he, oh, well, this was, yeah. No, he should have kept his mouth shut. Physical power minus 25. Will we get another event straight after? No? Okay. How many events do we have to get before we, uh, before the uprising happens? Now, what should I do here? Hmm. That's nice. That That is nice. We should get that. Now, only 150% reduction. Yikes. That's not fantastic. Oh, we, will all, we also have, um, we're almost four levels into, into it already. Uh, is, that, is that the best thing for us right now? Should I the internet? No. no. <coughs> I think it might be, to be honest. Because the other one is mobile, yeah. We just don't have the industry for that. An honourable army add an honourable army which grants division organisation plus 3%, entrenchments speed plus 4%, division defence plus 2%, army experience minus 20. Our army must be focused on order, discipline, and defence. While these tactics may have failed during the Eastern Rising, they worked well during the Northern Campaign and are a better fit for conventional conflict affair. Come on! Are some of you. God, are you still not there? My god. It's bad. BM is running a bit slower now, yeah. What have we progressed? Okay, July 38 to July 39. Okay, yeah, we haven't progressed a year, to be fair. But what, either it's an hour and 12 minutes, not just an hour, so. How many uh, of the new 150mm guns do we have? 92! That's depressing. That is very depressing. I thought we'd have a few hundred at least at this stage. Yeah, the game isn't running the fastest. Let's delete some saves, to be honest. Oh, oh, I only have two! Oh my god, that, that doesn't go well. That's all fine. I am still really trying to get rid of this guy, Tarlock. Oh. Hid? Hold? I can't tell if that's an I or an I or an L. As far as I'm aware, we do have one more foreign minister. Our minister of the interior, rather. Not this guy, not this guy. Yeah, here he is, Francis Stewart. National populist. I would gladly take him. Gladly. <laughs> okay, yeah. At first, I, I, I thought he said Nazis, but but I wasn't sure. Now I just heard Swatska. Yeah, okay, never mind. This is definitely about um, Irish volunteers on the Republican side of the Spanish Civil War. It has to be. Viva la Quinta Brigada. It, it, it can't be anything else. So, another new decision? What happened? What's new? Because it used to be just five. I'm not sure. Okay. How are we? We're fine for our artillery steel. See our provinces. Damn. Connacht has the same level of industrialization as Munster. Not to mention that Connacht would actually be better off industrially than Munster after the war because they have more civilian factories. Interesting. Leinster is, yeah, beefed. 
Hold, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, Ulster has more factories than Leinster does, yeah. James Craig talking about uh, <laughs> being left behind uh, economically-wise. Oh, okay. Oh, they disintegrated, my god. Prison Republic of Siberia, that is the the Oblast Sneaky, right? Sock Libs? Yeah. Transamar? Oh, no. Uh, Provisional Government of Yakutia. And I believe it's Inikenti Smolin over here in Buryat, Mongolia. It can be, as far as I'm aware. And he can unify... He can unify the... Um, he can unify the Far East. Where is he? Is it you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one of these is. Be interesting to see what comes out of it, though. Brother and Derry, things are increasing. Now it's minus 30 political power. Uh, the body of a young man was found this morning in a cold and desolate alleyway near the centre of Derry. According to a follow-up police report, he had been stabbed several times and left for dead. The man was previously known to a local police force as a prominent member of a unionist volunteers group with local ties in the waterside. There have already been cries that the murder was committed by a Catholic and said uh, and that the police will turn a blind eye. However warranted or unwarranted these claims may be, the situation in Ulster is as ever volatile. Frightening times for Derry, indeed. Oh... Right, in Belfast. The streets of Belfast are in uproar after the Unionists have begun to make their play for a general uprising. Alrighty then. Listen up! Listen up! This will be a nice test. Ready! Yes, sir! Uh, yeah, we'll all fold into Kahlberger. Yeah, he's the most capable. Yes, sir! By the forces of Ready, sir! As he went to work Ready! Every day he left Ready to move! Native town. Attention! The soldiers Ready, sir! For Think yeah. Fall, fall in! in. That's, oh, we have to fold in one more. Never mind. Sure Orders! <laughs> the British voiceover packs. Or not, not voiceover, it's just regular packs. Uh, let's grab one, two here. Five, six, five, five, five. Nice. Ready, sir! He was dying on the ground. I believe. No, oh, no. That's fine. Orders! And the people they did their best. Listen up! That is fine indeed. Now, Order. I'm sure we are. I'm sure we're using the best generals that we have. Ready to move! With a map that might actually come against us, me. All in! I might just get to where you need to go. Come on! Yes. Right, in Belfast. The streets of Belfast are in an uproar after the Unionists have begun to make their play for a general uprising. Disgruntled Ulstermen, the vast majority of which are Protestants, have taken to the streets in a violent stand against what they believe to be hostile intentions from Dublin. The Dáil has called an emergency meeting to, to address their grievances, but that may not be enough to stop them. Madness. Political power minus 25. I love how this has this is uh, giving uh, like giving us less of a political power hit than, uh, than a murder. Ready, sir! Oh, I balls that up. I definitely balls that up. Ready! Try that again. Listen up! Aiden's life had ended. It was time for judgment day. I'm gonna let that expire. Or rather, I'll let it get to one day. I just need to reorg first. God's curse on you. For this cruel deed you've done. But God will have There's going to be a lot of artillery shells fired. Yeah, we've got 3,600 guns. Were you attritioning? Please don't tell me yet. Well, naturally we will be because of training, but hopefully not. Not for any other reason. Yes, sir! Also, I will use this um, 
Air dodging. Yes, we will get dived bombing, please. And of course, what, what I was actually here for was uh, the land option superior firepower. All frontline battalions off attack is 10%. Delay. Leg infantry organization plus 10. That's huge. Mobile defense. All infantry motorized slash mechanized defense plus 10%. Spur sport line artillery recovery plus 0.2. Now oh, there we are. That's that. You say Ready, sir. Your lies are Madness. Okay. Not yet it would seem, but we have mobilized the army. Because too much is going on. Oh, I can have actually Listen messed up. it up once more. <laughs> there we are. I think we have it now. Listen up. We do. Now the left to reorg once more. We have political power. We, we should invest in a chief of staff. I believe I will go for, like I was saying, I won't go for Richard Mulcahy so that we can, he can continue being a general. We'll go for, where was he? Ernie O'Malley. Chief of staff, school of psychology, division, organization, and recovery, plus 10% each. A professional army, 42 days for that. Are you kidding me? Now that we've decided to move to a more professional army, we must train our soldiers and officers, many of whom are still accustomed to the strategies of yesteryear. Indeed. It would be ideal if we got the Uprising Monster before we went to war. Because we can get quite a few events at this stage. I'd like if that uh, continued so that we can get on with it. I will get another factory on trains as well. Oof. Training factories. Okay, that is it. We are out of slots. Uh, let's go for some infrastructure. This will not take long, though. Can we do anything for here? We can, kind of. Brave community. Torpedo hit chance, yeah, we'd most likely be going for that. Screen attack, torpedo screen penetration, that's not bad either. Yeah. We'll go for Bureau of Ordnance. Um, torpedo hit chance plus 10%. The Bureau of Ordnance influences any ship designs made. The spirit is available due to our amazing torpedoes. What? Okay. I wasn't aware our torpedoes were that good, but I'll take it. How are we going here? Still researching that goddamn torpedo. Finished in 44 days still. Only 55% done. Alright. Uh, da 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 da. Time to start looking at 1940 tech. Yeah, right here. Conflict austerity train, fantastic. Much better. Again, 1940 tech. There is 1940 research tech, so we'll go for that. Similarity is looking pretty goddamn good. Will we lose the Ulster issue if we cross them? Hopefully. That'd be nice. That would be good. Be an extra 5% stability in the bag. Mons! The two divi divisions have finished training. Ready to move! Orders! <laughs> Voliamo sculpire ogni lapide. It's a good song. Short song, unfortunately, though. Ready to move! How many of those uh, new guns do we have? 364, yeah. Still relying on feckin' 84mm artillery. That's just not gonna cut it. Are we sort of steel for artillery? No, we're not. We're even our trains, yeah. We need to keep that going as well. Alright. Ready to move! That's fine, you're still training, yes? Indeed. Attention! 302,000 men, well trained, well equipped, decently led. Definitely highly highly motivated. 
though, though how many Ultramen, you know, you know, actually, yeah, to be fair, probably doesn't include any, it, it may include certainly Ultramen, but not Unionists, most likely includes, well, it most likely, it definitely inclu includes Protestants as well, but likely not many Unionists. Unless they're doing the strategy of, uh, of current uh, far-right groups in Ireland where they're joining the military specifically just to get weapons training. I believe uh, Niradiri are doing that, which means the Knights. And now, uh, oh my god, that's the guard too. Okay, I, I suppose I'd better wrap up the episode. But alright lads, I hope you enjoyed this episode again. Sorry for not getting an episode out yesterday, and it, if the episodes will be fairly intermittent. I, um, I hope so. I hope to God Kaiser Edix doesn't update, and as far as I'm aware, Kaiser Redux was like one of the first monsters to update as well, so I'd better hurry it up. But either way, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. I shall see you in the next episode where hopefully we will crush the Ulster Uprisings so that we can move forward without any potential knives in our backs. Um, well, knives in our back. I shall see you then. <laughs>